So you did the Book of Life. What did you enjoy most about kind of that animated world that made you want to jump into this? I think it's the creative minds behind it. Um, they're so passionate about what they do, and they're in it for the long haul. And they wait, you know, they wake up and they go to work every day as if it was like their first day of work, you know. And it, and it, and they're gonna be instantly ratified by it. And it's not, it's not like that. That's not the case. I learn. I learn to to be patient. I learn to never surrender, in in always searching for perfection in the fine details of it all. And uh, you know, stop motion requires a lot of sacrifice, a lot of passion, a lot of commitment. But everybody at Leica Studio wants to be there because they fought. They they worked really hard to get there, and they're happy. So the energy is contagious in there. Now, did you get to actually kind of visit that little we village did. that they have? What is that like? They have some in the other room, and it's just like I touched a foot. And it's crazy how much the, the texture that you feel on there, because you think it's plastic, and then it feels kind of like a, like a thing that was real. Absolutely. And oh, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing to know that, you know, like my question to them is always like, when did you know that this was what you wanted to do? Because it's such a specific form of art and it's also a dying art and and thank god that we have these these warriors up at Leica that are keeping it alive you know now how much fun did you have playing a character that is just so feisty free-spirited you know she's not gonna let anything I mean her husband died she's not gonna let anything bring her down she is ready to go on an adventure um I mean that part is easy <laughs> I've played it before but I tend to not really look at the character strengths because then that's when you can really exaggerate. I always like to play their weaknesses, and um, and I've been I've been told that I I always come across as a very guarded actor in my performances because I'm I'm always trying to conceal <laughs> a weakness that I don't want others to see. I guess and and um, and other Linda is that person. She's bored and she wants to find again her true sense of purpose and. You know, she dealt with displacement, being an immigrant, and, and also now she dealt with loss, burying her husband, and living through his dreams. And now she's like, who am I? And this opportunity presents itself, not in the format that she wants. She, the last person she wants to see is Lionel Frost. He's such a, like a, like a douche, you know what I mean? And, and but then she meets Mr. Link, and his purpose becomes greater than hers. Now, I do have to ask about how excited you are about James Gunn coming back for Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I'm a huge fan of his, so knowing that he's back on board, is, I'm excited. How about you? I'm, I'm exhilarated. I think that, I think that Disney did the right thing um, because the example that, that I was also going to send to to the to people is that given given the social and political climate that we find ourselves in people are very angry and and they really want to see blood they in order for for them to have their their little taste of what they believe justice should be and what we are forgetting is that if we don't leave space for for characters and and, and events that took place because they didn't know any better to uh, to redeem themselves, then we're really not going to learn anything at all, and we're going to be swinging the pendulum from one extreme to the other, when in reality we have to find balance in this. And forgiveness is very, very important if whoever you are forgiving uh, is rectifying willingly uh, to uh, um, and, and move forward.